I'm back playing another game from Itch.io, and this time it's Fleeing Forward. Uh, this is a short kind of abstract experience about running away from yourself. And you know I like these experimental games, so where is where is start? Yeah, there we go. I found it. He was a shell of a man, often defying his own madness, yet his desires had a life of their own. Sometimes a man dared face them, though always too late. Ooh, swibbledy swoos. Chapter one, or scene one, since it said scenes, living things. I'm into this already. Let's go. That's a fucking head. I, that's the first thing I saw. Okay, how do I control? All right. So the mouse is working properly, right? Oh, shit. There's, oh, oh my, my. Okay. Um, and is it wasped? Is it whilst I work? Okay, no. Is it how how I how I walk? How I walk and go though to play? Ah! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> I was okay. Um. Um. Oh my lord! Oh, now there's a bigger head. Yeah, you you okay? Uh, you scared the shit out of me. What? Is your hand out? You want me to go with you? How do I do anything? Am I just supposed to stand here? Oh my, oh god, oh, I don't like this. Hi, do you want to join in the fucking scary party here? Hi, go away, guys. Oh. Okay. Alright, so am I supposed to be doing a thing or is this just supposed to be terrified? There is a third head. That one looks a little bit like Venom, but like a little bit like shaven down. A little bit... A little bit more skeletal. What is... This is really cool. I love you. You're not going to scare me this time. Stop putting your hand out. What do you want from me? I mean, I figure now, just because this perspective, this is amazing, and obviously I'm not supposed to be moving from here, but this is... Well, I say obviously, but to be honest, I don't know. What is making them come? Are they all supposed to come over here? Uh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Yeah, I see. I don't see. I don't know. All right. Okay, wait. To the right. All right, he's far away. He's a little close. He's really far away. All right, so you're here. You're a little closer. Now you're close. You're still far away. Now you're gone. Uh, okay. It, all right, so if I... Okay, so now you are close. Now you're gone. I don't know what to do. This is so freaking creepy and I love it. Oh my God. I love weird, abstract, experimental freaking indie games. Like, you know I love that. You know I love that, don't you, Entity? Are you a reflection of my darkest fears? All right, wait. So there's three of you now. I don't know if me looking around is affecting this at all, but I feel like this will end like when uh more like when all four are over here so dude come no why did you go away all right dude i need the other one to show up all right and now i need that one to show up because it seems like they show up if i'm not looking at them so i just i need the other dude to show up please no stop disappearing see and then i looked away and now they're all go oh my god I love this. I love this so much. This really does look like a comic book panel. Like it looks like the start, like the sketch, you know, like the beginning of it. All right, you stay there. See, it seems like they disappear when I look away from them. But I don't want them to disappear. I think I kind of want all four of them to be here at the same time. But how would I manage that? I'm going to put my back to them just a little. Yes! Click, click, enter. Okay. All right, I hit enter, but I don't know if I could have hit enter at any point or if I had to do that to hit enter. No idea, but that was cool. All right. He was a rocket man, tried and tested repeatedly. His compass only indicated where not to go. The restless man had never learned to stop. <gasps> Wonderful. Scene two, racing to the abyss. All right. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that's cool. Oh, oh, God. oh, all right. Whoa, whoa, okay, okay. All right, all right. Woo! Whoa, 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 all right. Not a problem, not a problem. 
I've got skills. They're multiplying. Um, <laughs> ah, grease, but yeah. All right, so should I, should I be just doing this, what I'm doing here? What happens if I turn around? Can I turn around? Oh, oh, whoa. Oh, whoa, that's weird. Whoa! What was that? On the ground. What? Oh, I thought I saw, like, fire on the ground. Can I go in a door? Yes, I can. So, all right, I'm just gonna go in the doors that open. Uh, yeah, what was that? Oh, God, I see something. I see something. There's some damn thing. No, no. Go. Yeah, what is that? What is what is this light? Don't Don't play with me. All right, I see things happening. Okay. I don't know if I'm anywhere near going in this right direction, but I'm gonna just keep going. I don't, I don't, that fire is, I don't, that fire is very interesting. It's like, let me look at that, that is so cool. What if I just do all left? No, wait. This soundtrack's cool too. Oh. All right. Okay, so it looks like it's just perpetual and that at any point I can hit enter and continue. So that's that's fine. Okay. He was a mesh-shaped man, pieced together by a thousand other bodies. They each looked through him passive-aggressively. The dazed man could only feel the empty void beneath his feet. Ah, I love that. I don't know if this is something that this developer's writing or if they're quoting something, but that sounds like the way that I write. So, I approve, automatically. Scene three, vertigo. Oh, Jimmy Stewart's falling from a tower. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, I like that song. Oh, shit! Hi. Hi, guys. What's up? Huh? How you doing over there? Where are you? Are you, like... Okay, I don't, I don't like how intensely they're looking at me. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys seem to want to get at me. And I don't think I want you to get at me. What happens if I, is this an actual drop here? Yes, it is. All right, what about over here? Can you get at me from any of these places? Hey, what up? What up? It's me again. Oh my God, this is so loud on my ear that I think um, it's going to be loud in the thing. Okay. So, if I drop down... Um, can't drop down there. All right, so probably going to have to drop down here. Oh, I can go across. Oh, I don't. I don't care for that. I don't care for that. Hi. Hi, are you going to bother me if I come over here? You look cool. You look like the Silver Surfer, only a little bit more buff, a little more swole, and a little dirty. Like somebody left you out. You know? Left you out in the rain, let the kids play with you. I'm gone! Yep, I already knew. <laughs> I already knew they were gonna chase me. I could just tell from how they were looking. Oh! No! Okay. Alright, well, uh, I'm gonna just head back this way, if you don't mind. Can you come? Yeah, you can't come over here, huh, you dumb bitch? Yeah. That, that's collectively all of you. All of you are collectively a single bitch. But, um, I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go over here, and I'm gonna get ahead of you. Woo! All right. I'm gonna, oh shit. Is anything gonna happen if you catch me? Hmm? Oh, there are a lot of you. That is very strange. Nothing's happening, though. You're not doing anything to me. Hi. Oh, I don't like how you're all surrounding me, though. Hi. Hello? Yeah, oh. I like that. I like your, uh, <laughs> I like your girded loins. That's interesting. Is that Haynes? Hmm? Jockey? Joe Boxer? Hmm? Do you remember? Do you recall? You know a lot of Sears are going out of business. They're closing down. So, uh, if you need more of that, you can get that on sale. Uh, I'm just gonna scooch on past you if you don't uh, mind, though. Just gonna, just gonna get 
that all right well okay well all right um okay can i not just fall down here because i i just kind of want to fall down here and then have you all follow me is that a thing that can happen that's so weird though how like if i go in they're just there wait what why are you over here i thought you were only wherever i was before what Ruh -roh. All right, so do I need to gather you? I mean, I keep saying this as if there's an objective. I'm just assuming there is, but maybe there's not because you can just skip. All right, come guys. Come to the next door where I see people. All right, I see people here. So. Yeah, that's so unsettling. Okay, you guys come with me to the uh, next place I also see people. Wait, now there's only a door on two sides. Okay. See, this is what's making me feel like I should be doing things to progress the abstraction. It's because it's changing. All right. Hi, dudes. Wait, let me see what's, what's happening here. Yeah, and see, now there's only one door, like, besides the one I just came out of, this one. Okay. This is so weird. And now, yeah, and see, now we're back to three. So I feel like I'm supposed to be trying to get to there being only one door. I don't know if that's a thing, though. Wow, that's cool. I can see the doors there. <gasps> it's like uh, the cube. Okay, so maybe this just keeps going. Huh. All right, well, I don't know, but this is really interesting. I'm gonna just, uh, I'm gonna just carry on then. I'm gonna just carry on. There we go. He was a modern man, fragile as an argentite statue, or an argentite statue, that willingly drowned in the comfort of others. Of all the ambivalences, this one was the most perfect. Scene four, modern man. Okay. We got water. Out there on the ocean. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Can I move? Yes. All right, so I'm walking on water. What? All right. And that's really cool that there's water like above and below. Hot, what? Okay. Legs. Legs for days. Let me go check it out. Oh, God. Okay. Alright, it looks like they're... fighting, but... also, like... This one's arm is up as if there's something that he's trying to, like, uh, signal to. So it's almost like they're, not like they're fighting each other, but almost like they're fleeing. But they're getting tangled up in the chaos of whatever they're running from. Oh, I thought you were gonna... I thought you were also going to just crumble when I walked up to you. No? Should I, should I, is there something I should do to make you crumble? Hi. Hello? Should I just go this way? I mean, you're kind of pointing this way. Oh! Wait, don't drown! Come here! I got you! I got you, bro! No! Okay. Right, well, bye. No thumbs up? <laughs> Terminator reference. Holy shit. Oh man. That is iconic imagery if ever I did see it. I don't know. <laughs> that was quite possibly the weirdest noise I've ever made. 
Like that was not intentional. Like I was about to say something. Oh, I was going to say that looked like, um, <laughs> it reminded me of, uh, that very, very good show, Black Sails, the beginning of it, where they had the little figurines on the ship. I missed the last um, few seasons, so I don't know if they maintained that intro the whole time, but this is cool. So he's still taking on that, that form. This is fucking awesome. And he's still grappling. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, look at the. You can see like the toe detail on that foot. Right. This is. Holy. Whoa. What? Oh my god. This is so cool. He looks like Vision. Hi, Vision. Hi, Paul Bettany. How you doing? All right. Um, I'm drowning, though. I think I'm drowning. Nope. No, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to drown. Why am I missing a head? There. I. Why did I automatically assume that was me? I mean, I know I could say that all of those represent me because the game description said that I was running away from myself, but I think that'd be too simple. Uh, okay, it crashed, apparently. I'm just curious to see if this crashes again. I gotta think about it. He was a modern man that willingly drowned in the comfort of others. I like that. I really, I really want to think about these, these statements. An Argentite statue. I'm guessing that's just like a... Like that that's a type of material that's known that it may not have any significance on its own. But to say that he willingly drowned in the comfort of others. This is okay. I'm, I guess I'm going to go backwards. This is interesting because this to me, we're, we're simultaneously walking on water and yet like below water, right? So it's almost like um, modern man having this sense of godliness uh, you know, as indicated by the walking on water, you know, and like Jesus walking on water and that being like this, like big thing. And yet at the same time, we're drowning, um, as a society, but it says that we're drowning under the, like we're drowning in the comfort of others. So in what way? Cause this is the thing I love, like as a writer, this is why I like language because language, um, can be interpreted so many different ways. Does it mean drowning in the comfort of others as in, drowning in the comfort they give you or drowning in the comfort of others as in drowning in the comforts that others enjoy so things like again because modern man like uh, all of the technology that we have things like social media you know um and again this this just being so chaotic and everything being kind of entangled and yet crumbling and yet at the same time, you know, you have people who are kind of reaching up almost like they recognize that they're drowning, but they're so entangled. We're crushing each other. We're pushing away from each other while at the same time pulling closer together. Very interesting. Let me go, let me, let me go this way again. I want to try to get a better look. Like, and again here, like this is maybe you know, this is maybe us or like me witnessing either myself drowning or just commentary on us observing the drowning of each other and not being able to do anything about it or not trying to do anything about it. But I really want to take a better look at that, that big, yeah, this. Because I know that it's like all the same poses, but here you can see there are differences in scale and that was really cool you know what does that represent that there are smaller and bigger pieces to this puzzle like entities that you know like people and and corporations and things that have more power that are greater than the small ones that they're dragging down but it doesn't matter at the same time because we're all drowning 
And no matter what we do, no matter how hard we flee, uh, we still end up like this, just in pieces, you know? And uh, this is really cool though, like that if I let go, well, if you play this, you can discover that for yourself. And this ultimately being, again, like drowning in the comfort of others where now everyone's sort of encircling me, you know? Again, this is kind of like, I always think about the internet being very representative of modern life and of modern day man. And like me here drowning in like, not only in this circle of others, but almost kind of within their judgment, within their observation. Oh, okay, it didn't crash that time. So I guess last time it just crashed by accidente. Uh, that's, that's interesting. I wanna look at the other, the other scenes at what it says again. He was a mesh-shaped man pieced together by a thousand other bodies. Someone whose identity is just um, kind of a culmination of those who look through him passive-aggressively. And when you're passive-aggressive, it could be sort of resentment that maybe these are people who simultaneously prop this person up, that they have made this person who he is, that he is essentially comprised of them, and yet they resent him for it. Um, and there's a passive aggressiveness of them being sort of this, uh, a part of his composition and not being able to separate themselves from him. And yet from his perspective, like all he can feel is this sort of emptiness that he's not grounded in any way. Um, but how would that correlate to this? Like that, again, it could correlate to this because here you have followers. So again, it could be representative of that, of the people that follow you and, and prop you up uh, in this day and age. And the way that you may feel like you're falling, you know, um, because you don't feel like there's anything really supporting you, even though you are just made up of, of what's around you and the adoration and criticisms of those around you. Uh, I, I don't know, very, very, uh, very interesting, very interesting. I'm just trying to think, I'm, I'm just trying to work my way through. All right, and what did one say? He was a shell of a man, though always too late. Okay, so this one I feel like is a little more literal because you see like the hollowness, the things that you want, the thing that you look away from yourself you sort of, uh, you see them as a form of madness when they're really just kind of a part of who you are. And when you do decide to confront them, it's too late, living things. Uh, and in this part, remember like when I finally would turn around, it would be there. And it, it was like the things are holding their arms out, almost like they want to embrace me. So I feel like maybe that's this is a little bit more straightforward that it's an interpretation of me facing sort of my inner demons that I have in some ways by not looking at them, by not giving them attention and not, not owning up to them, but rather defying them. I've, I've actually given them a life of their own. And that by the time I, I acknowledge that and I turn to face that, like it's too late. I, that that's interesting. And again, this is just me kind of like stream of consciousness nonsense. This, he was a rocket man tried and tested repeatedly, right? That this is someone who's maybe um, been through a lot. And yet because of all of these experiences that he's been through, he hasn't really learned what he's running towards. He hasn't learned what his destination is, where he wants to end up, where he wants his future to be and how to get there. He's only learned where not to go, like what, what to stay away from. That's, he's very restless, you know, that he's, uh, he never learned to stop moving forward. And yet he doesn't know how to move forward in the direction that's going to lead him anything but away from where he was. And because of that, yes, racing to the abyss, that, that he, it's essentially like he's running in place, that he's running towards nothing because there is nothing in his life indicating where he should go, that, that it's basically, you know, that he's just running endlessly through this void. Um, 
And that's interesting now thinking about the compass indicating where not to go. Then that makes me rethink the doors, you know, because the doors opening, this could be saying, hey, none of these options are right. And so you know not to turn, not to go down any of these paths. And yet that still doesn't get you anywhere. That still doesn't take you off this path. And yet you cannot stop. All right, very interesting, very interesting. So I'm gonna escape that, gonna get out of that. All right, escapey. Good, good, good. Get me back to the menu, friends. Okay, so that was fleeing forward. Uh, I loved this. I absolutely love this. Like I said, I love experimental games. I love like abstractions. I love games that kind of present things to you and ask you to interpret them in different ways because you know, gaming is not just about having fun and running around and being silly. Gaming is also sometimes about, uh, about introspection, um, uh, or just about, you know, commentary and kind of looking out at the world through a different lens. So this was really, really interesting. Again, it was fleeing forward as usual. I link to it in the description and I will never say that again because you know, I always do it. So why would I say it? Even if you're new to this channel, everybody freaking does it. Everyone on YouTube links to the shit they're talking about in the description. <laughs> so you will always know it's there so you can play it for yourself. Um, and please, if you have your own interpretations of these things, uh, let me know what you think. I am Jen, 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 I am Jen, Jen, very curious to know <laughs> uh, what you think. Uh, I'm not saying that because that's just a thing that people say at the end of their videos when they kind of don't actually give a shit or they're so big that they can't give a shit because there are people putting like 50,000 fucking comments uh, so they can't even read any of them. No, I, I legit want to know uh, like what your interpretation would be of these different scenes. Uh, and, and that's it. That's it um, for that. Fleeing forward. Good stuff.